I would like to show you a short clip on the difference uh, between having a strong knee, strong calf, and strong thigh. Let's get back to the time in uh, April 2013 when I was starting to walk and presently December 2020. You can see the difference when the knees is strong, the calf and the thigh are strong. This is the final goal that uh, where these exercises are leading to. Hi, this is Efren Tiawak and I am a stroke survivor. And I'm here to share with you my experiences and how I recovered my body parts. And hoping when you see them, you'll be inspired to start your own recovery program. The topic for today is um, to further develop our body balance by trying to depend more on the weekend part of the body which on my part is my right leg, my right side, and my tongue, okay? But we will focus more on my weekend leg, my right leg, which uh, this is my favorite uh, stance, uh, favorite is, uh, usually I'm unconsciously standing like this. I am depending on my good leg, but there is a need that I have to rest my good leg and depend also on my uh, uh, right leg. So after practicing uh, standing like this and going to the middle or standing uh, equally on both legs using a cane, a post or whatever solid material there that will help us stand uh, uh, straight, then it's time to let them go and really stand on our own because uh, um, it's quite an obstacle to have a cane walking around town when we can walk using our own two legs okay so from this position I will now shift my balance to the center of my body and then feel how my weak leg is taking my upper body weight can it handle it can my knees or my knee handle it can my uh, thigh and leg power handle the shift of the balance from the left leg to equally 50% to the right leg. Okay, so it's just like that. So uh, arrange your uh, stance again, then shift back to the uh, good leg, then slowly go again to the um, center for balance. And mind, mind your way of standing because you may be balanced or you may be okay on the left side and on the right side but how are you doing uh, your balance at, to the left are you bending backwards because that can cause a fall or are you bending forward because that can cause a fall especially when the hip bone here of the uh, thigh and the hip bone here doesn't connect because on my part there is that kind of thing that it looks like my bone here the one connecting or connected to my thigh bone to the hip bone it kind of slips off it doesn't uh, there is not that uh, um, sticky or strong connection of the bones itself so if this were my thigh my problem is it looks like my bone is sleeping that way so I have to test if I am okay if it handles that one or is my bone slipping up or slipping sideways that's why that can cause me a fall to go that way uh, that's why we have to exercise like this in order for those uh, um, weak bone connections to be strengthened that was what uh, I experienced especially when I stand this way and then I will stand on my weak leg and my hip bone goes like that and then I will not be able to stand so I have to go back to two feet standing but this is our practice for today try to stand on two feet 
shift your weight to the right go to the center for balance just like that and then try to adjust your uh, brain works uh, see how it is to what sort of balancing movements will you do in order to stay upright okay so just like this here just do like that and then hold thank you for watching and uh, share this video with someone else who needs it and uh, while you're doing that let's keep safe from the COVID-19 uh, virus uh, life is precious and we have to be on our offensive defense by keeping ourselves uh, away from people because uh, we don't know this kind of uh, disease we don't see it it floats and it attacks silently I will be seeing you then in the next video.